Good morning. It is morning here in the mitten. Welcome to the tree house with Miss D. I'm playing our, with our g -g green play-doh that we made yesterday. And it still smells a little like this, the, um, the herb that we put in called sage. So it smells kind of like Thanksgiving dinner cooking. It's kind of fun. It's nice and soft. And I'm going to play with it at our art table. That's why our table is a little messy. <clears throat> but I wanted to share with you a game that I thought we would play. Well, first of all, can you make your Play-Doh into just kind of like a ball? Just lose some to Jamie. So that's why it's not, it disappeared. It smells like Thanksgiving, doesn't it? You kind of make it into kind of a ball. It's a mushy ball. Like you're making a snowflake, like a snowball. Uh -huh. Yeah. But this ball doesn't bounce. So to make a snake, we're going to take our hands like this, nice and flat, and push down and roll our Play-Doh. Roll, roll, roll the dough. Time to make a sneak. With this much plate, I want to make a huge sneak. If it starts coming apart, then just move your hands to a different part. Let me put the rest of it out of the way. Do, 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 do. Can you hold on to it and just let it stretch down? <laughs> now, this kind of play dough. Uh oh, Jamie's broke. It's nice and soft. So I am going to get out our letter cards. And we've done all these letters on our pocket chart. Some of you might be able to see behind me. Do you remember what this letter was? Fish. Remember we read the story about rainbow fish. And we haven't done this letter yet. This is C is for cookie and we're going to do that another day. What about this one? This is our letter that we were learning, we were reading and talking about monsters and Missy Mouse. Letter M. And how about this letter for strong tiger t, -t. And our keyword for this was tree. T tree rhymes with T. And P is for pumpkin or penguin. P -p 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 oh, this one we just did. Boo. Buh, the bear. Buh. The bear pulls down his honey from the tree. Buh. Buh. Bear. And this one we did a little while ago, back early in the fall. And it's eh, eh, apple, eh, eh, alley, alligator, alligator, eh, eh, letter A. And this is the one that we've been working on this week. Remember gobble, gobble? When our turkey gobble, gobbles, he is plump and proud and perky. When our family gobble, gobbles, we are gobbling down the turkey. Let's practice making a letter G, and I'm hoping that this doesn't turn out backwards on the video. <laughs> is it backwards or is it okay? Because sometimes when I videotape this, it turns out backwards. So here's my letter G, and I see on my letter G there's a letter, there's a little number one and a little racetrack on my number one. I'm gonna take a piece of my Play-Doh snake and start at my number one and put my Play-Doh on my racetrack. But I am not done making my letter G for gobble gobble. I still need to make the fish hook part. That's what I call it. It looks like a fish hook. If you fling that Play-Doh at me. <laughs> so I would take another piece of Play-Doh and cover up the other racetrack. So now I've used my letter cards to make a letter G. And it's a green letter G. Should we make another letter? 
There's my letter G. It looks a little squishy when I take it off my card. How about the letter F? Frenzy fish. I still have some more of my snake left. If you don't have some snake left, you might just have to stretch your plate out. And my letter card has a one and a racetrack that goes down and around the corner. Remember where we start our letters? Where do we start our letters? Do you remember? Where do you start your letters? At the top. This snake doesn't want to hold still or just hold its shape. So if you see Play-Doh come flying into the screen, friends, it's because Jamie's up here and he's flinging Play-Doh. Jamie is my youngest boy, my youngest wee heart. But my letter F still has another line. It has a two, which means I gotta make another snake. But it's a tiny little snake. It's almost like an inchworm instead of a snake. And this one starts here and goes across there. I'm just gonna pinch it right in the middle. So there's an F and a G. <laughs> it's an F and G. <laughs> I'm gonna take my F off of my card too. I can almost make the alphabet. We're missing a couple letters. Um, why don't we start at the beginning of the alphabet? A. So our we have a one and our racetrack makes a big curve. That big piece of snake. <laughs> And a little piece of my snake. And there's my letter A. So if you have a chance to make letter cards at home, or if mom and dad want to just write it on the on a piece of paper and make your racetracks for you, you could start writing letters with Play-Doh. With your g, g green Play-Doh. I'll put my Play-Doh away now. So Jamie doesn't fling it around. <laughs> ah! And it magically reappears back on screen. Yours is really warm. What is going on? <laughs> and if you would like the recipe of how we made our Play-Doh, you can find our video on our YouTube channel. I'm going to put all these away. And I'll show you one more thing that's kind of fun to do with our letter cards. Gotta make sure I put our Play-Doh in a bag so that if you get your play, if you leave your Play-Doh out in the air too long, it gets all hard and you can't really play with it very easily. I'm gonna make sure it's in my baggie. And it'll stay there for seven days. So if you make your Play-Doh on a Sunday, it will stay good for at least an, until the next Sunday. Maybe longer. Depends on how much you play with it. So in my letter basket, I also have some letter cookie cutters. I forgot to put the cookie cutters with the Play-Doh, but you could use the cookie cutters to put, play, put the letters in the Play-Doh too. I also have these crazy fun stems. I'm gonna get the g g green ones out. These are, this is my writing basket. I know it doesn't sound like I'm really, it doesn't look like you're writing anything, but really, this is a fun way to do to make your letters. So since I'm using green, let me find my letter G. These are something you could take to um, if you if mom and dad are taking you out to eat, you could make these. So these are really a lot bigger than our letters are, but that's okay because we're still gonna have to use them the same way and make the, use the same shapes, right? So I start with my one, and my one I make a curve. So there's my curve for my letter, for my green letter G. And then I have to make a fish hook. So I'm gonna take my other stick, my other stem here, and try and curve it and bend it to make a fish hook, which can be kind of tricky. That looks pretty good. Hey, I think I made my letter G. I'm gonna put these at the top. So these are fun because you get to bend them around a lot. You bend it this way. Uh oh, and bend it this way. 
<laughs> bend it the right way because now it's like three dimensional. <laughs> it looks going the wrong direction. Okay, let's do this. There. <laughs> and there's my letter, my green letter G. I could flip it upside down and take the hook off and make an A. Kind of looks like an A. Kind of doesn't. <laughs> Wait, there. Now it's a letter A. Sort of. Sort of, kind of. Here, I made an A G into an A. So these are fun ways to do things too. So I hope you have fun writing your letters and doing other ways to make a letter G. Um, let me get one more thing real quick. We'll go around the camera here <laughs> and get my sticker bucket. I have a box of stickers. And in my box of stickers someplace, I have a bunch of turkey stickers. I have all kinds of fun stickers. Do you have stickers to play with at home? Stickers are something every time I go to the dollar store, I end up bringing some stickers home. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them, but I always bring silly stickers home. There's some turkeys, but I'm looking for my other turkeys. My other turkeys. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, there's my other gobbler turkey stickers. There's my turkey stickers. So, what I'm going to do is take my letter G, and I am going to get, my, get a piece of paper. And a marker. And I have a couple of things I can do with my with my markers. I found a piece of green paper. And I'm gonna practice making my letter G. Jamie, is this working? Mm -hmm. Okay. So to make a big, go the mommies and daddy, mamas and papas and uncle and aunts letter G, I'm gonna make a big round curve and a straight line up and a straight line in. And make a little letter G. Remember, we've been you making that letter G. I'm gonna make my round racetrack and my fish hook racetrack. So I made two letter G's. I'm going to make another letter G up here. Big G. Little G. I make a medium sized G. Big G. Little G. Now I'm going to use my turkeys that say, Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> and I'm going to write the letter G with my turkey stickers. are all gone. Maybe I should start with my middle size one. <laughs> I heard Mr. Turkey say gobble 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 soon will be Thanksgiving day gobble gobble gobble. These turkeys look like they're running all over this letter G track I made. People say that it's great fun but I think that I shall run and hide until the day is done. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Oh, I gotta make my little bridge in there and then I'll be done with the um, Mama G. Here's my great big turkey. Should we sing our great big turkey song? Great big turkey, great big turkey. Watch him waddle, hear him gobble, running all around, making such 
such a sound. Great big turkey. Great big turkey. I just really need my glasses on. Should we make our little G now? Where do you start your letters at the top? Where do you start your letters at the top? If you want to write a letter, then you better, better, better remember to start it at the top. Next week, we're going to make some centerpieces for our, one of the things I always did every year with my kindergartners and preschoolers was we would make toothpick, toothpick turkeys for them to make for um, centerpieces for our tables. So we would, we'll, you will need um, some fancy schmancy toothpicks that have those little frilly things on them. And a potato. I'm gonna put some more turkeys on there. There we go. And some googly eyes. And one red stem. And um, two golf keys. And then we'll I will show you how we're gonna make our potato turkeys. So, have a g -g great day playing with your letter G um, stickers and Play-Doh and whatever else you can find to trace that with. Another thing you could do is put the um, is put salt over your or sand over your letter G, and then try and find it and trace it with your letter with your fingers too. Have a great day, everyone. Have fun. Gobble gobble gobble.